how to animate a 3D character in Unity. Follow these steps. Right click, import new asset. So, as you can see, I have imported a character named Magda. Let me show you how can you add it in your Unity scene. Go to player, now click and drag the idol. As you can see, this is the character that I want to use in the game. But what should I do now? Just drop it here, move it into the capsule. Okay, so the character is inside, but I need to move it in the player model. Right now, this is the player model. It will be disabled for a while. And I'll import this idle inside. To make the things look better, I will disable this mesh renderer for the capsule object. And here's the character. I don't like because the character is above the ground. I need to make it on the ground. And I want to add the animations. So to add animations, go to the animated clip, copy keyframes, and to begin animating idle, create an animator and an animation clip. I will call this animation clip player idle because I already have the idle. Now paste the keyframes. Now it's not enough, we need the run animation and the jump animation. Player run. Now go back to the idle. Player run. As you can see, it looks great. And this is how the player will be running. But the player is too small, I will make it bigger. Like this. To make it slightly bigger. Now I need the jump animation. Because I want my player to jump name it player jump so the actual reason why i am copying the clips is because i imported my 3d model into mixamo and those animations are read only so to prevent themselves from being read only i need to copy them and make a specific clip but i don't want my player to jump at a distance it's because we don't need that position And this is how it would jump. Not the player, it's the idle. You have to configure the idle right now. The list of parameters is empty. You need to add some parameter in order to make it work. Add a boolean. Name it is walking. That will be the boolean for walking. The transition between player idle and player run. Is walking is true, meaning that if the player is walking it should be true and it should run and make the animation work like this, as you can see here. When you move your player it will look like this. Okay, so we need one backwards state, like when it's not running, is walking false. When you are done running, this is the state that your player comes back, the idle. Now you definitely need the is grounded as a state of animation. The is grounded should be true when your player is on ground. It should be false when you are trying to jump. So do it like this. Is grounded true. Uncheck has exit time every time you make animations. Is grounded false. Uncheck exit time. And for adding the animator into this game, I added public animator anim. Anim is usually part of the player model, but the player model has another object, which is pivot. 
it is a simple game object that can be added every time you open main camera and just add a simple empty object. You need those two components and ease walking is the one that I defined before when I was making some other game. So here is the ease walking true. If horizontal velocity is larger than max speed, maybe I should do like this ease walking true and ease walking false. I was only able to make the animations work by setting the max speed to a lower number than movement speed, but I still haven't added is grounded in the animation. Let me show. Anim set bool is grounded. Is grounded. Just say the character controller is grounded. And it's working. But I need to fix this rotation. I have some skill that I can fix this script. Instead of saying move direction isn't equal to vector 3 0, you should use the move read value from the input system. This line of code doesn't do the job right now. If move read value vector 2 which is a 2D axis of the movement. X isn't equal to 0. Or, if the read value vector 2Y isn't equal to 0. In these lines of code, you need to use quaternion. Transform rotation, which is the rotation of the player, is equal to quaternion Euler, Euler angles, which means the first angle is zero, we don't rotate on the x-axis, the y-axis rotates with the Euler angles. Euler angles y. And the z-axis is zero, we don't rotate the z-axis of the player, just the y-axis, which is the look rotation of the player. Now this is not enough, we need quaternion. Quaternion rotation, which means the look rotation of the player should change. Quaternion, look rotation. Inside the look rotation you need a new vector tree, which is the three-dimensional value. And use the move direction, which is defined before. You shouldn't add the y-axis, just x and z-axis. And one more line of code, player model. The player model is the model inside of your player. And you don't rotate the player, you rotate the model which is inside. So that's why it sometimes can't work when you rotate camera. You need to rotate the model instead of the entire player. Add this line. Quaternion slurp. The slurp consists of one quaternion, the second quaternion and the magnitude. However, in this time I'm going to use the player model transform rotation. along with the quaternion, which is the look rotation. And this will be multiplied with the rotation speed. Make sure to add pivot. Main camera, right click, create empty. You can call it a game object, but be careful. I would recommend you to call it pivot. And now I will share the script that I have added for the character camera movement. Camera player. The pivot object is a pivot. A small object that controls the rotation inside the camera. But the target object is the player. 
you can click and drag but I'm doing this like this now go to player and don't forget to add pivot click and drag like this make sure to add the appropriate player model which is the idol in this case my character Magda is called idol because the idle animation has been set. Now try to play. And it works! The character is running in all directions. But what happens when you move the camera? And even with camera rotation it's working. Amazing! Now this feels like a real game. When you try to move according to the camera angle, it does everything as expected. Magda is a character that will be part of the future game. She will be followed by the enemy cube all the time. The game will be released as soon as possible. If you want more tutorials like this, consider subscribing. I will make more videos whenever I am available. Stay tuned and goodbye.